Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jamie Joy and I'm a certified personal trainer. Recently, because of the COVID-19 situation, my gym has decided to close for 14 days and that means two whole weeks without the gym. So what I'm doing is this 14 days weight loss challenge to take exercises that I give my clients on the gym floor but modify into body weight training to do at home. Today is day 6 of the weight loss challenge and I'm going to walk you through a day of training and eating for me as well as answer some questions that my clients ask me.
training and food for today, let's move on to the Q&A section. My client and friend Tian Yun asked me a few questions that I'll answer in this video today. Question 1. How do you stay motivated? It's a popular question asked by a few of my clients or so a few times. Uh, I'm guessing how to stay motivated to come to the gym and train and eat healthy. Is that right? Right? Can you? I don't see myself as a motivated individual. My time is very tight. Um, but what keep, keeps me disciplined is to have a goal. So prior to this COVID-19 situation, I was prepping for a competition. So I have no choice but to train. <laughs> and outside of that, uh, outside of having a goal, like just take the competition aside, what keeps me motivated? I think it's because I work in the gym floor, so I'm already in a gym. Then might as well just train, right? And subsequently, it becomes a lifestyle. And I think it's not so much about being motivated, but I enjoy, I love fitness, so I have to do it to keep me sane. Question two. Three tips for beginners starting into fitness coming from a sedentary lifestyle. Tip number one, start slow, start easy. Don't go running one hour straight in the very first session. Start slow, start easy, don't kill yourself too fast. Tip number two, progressive overload. So if you were running 15 minutes the previous time, try to go for 20 minutes the next time. And if you are doing three sets of 10 bicep curls the previous time, Try to go for 4 sets of 10 the next time. Tip number 3, be consistent and be patient. Keep showing up, keep working on it. You will see improvements and you will thank yourself later. Question 3, the weight section intimidates me and everyone looks like they know what they are doing and not very welcoming to newcomers like me. How do I navigate the gym floor without a PT? AKA me. That's a great question. I was intimidated before uh, before I started working on weight training and I didn't have a PT to help me so what helped me was watching YouTube channels subscribe subscribe what I did was uh, watch YouTube channels to learn and eventually I became more proficient and then I became a PT myself another tip is to start from using machines because machines are usually one directional so it engages the, the right muscle group to go through that range of motion so you know what you are doing with your muscles and you translate that same feeling on, in the free weights section or you can just approach a PT on the gym floor who doesn't who is not in a session they'll be more than willing to help you right I think we are question 4 tips for sticking to a healthy diet like the first question, I see this more of like a lifestyle and habit rather than a task I need to complete and to fulfill. Meal prepping is a great idea. Then you don't have to think of what to eat. You just take your box and you eat. And then over time, you naturally will just want to eat healthier foods because your, your palate is already adjusted. Question 5. What are your career highlights for yourself and for your clients? This is one of the best questions I've been asked. Thank you, Tian Yun. I have a few career highlights for myself and for my clients. You yourself is a career highlight. You have lost fat and gained strength even after the festive season. And another client, she was racing in obstacle course races in the age category and she wanted to place top 10 in her age category. And I think before she came to me, I think she was like 20 plus in the... I can't remember. Ilona, help me! Yeah, and then the very first race after we started working together, she placed number three. She placed podium and subsequently it's all podium wins or podium, podium placings. And now she's racing in the elite category in Spartan races. And one runner who did 64 minutes in his previous 10k before we started working together and after afterwards his timing was fifth help me out 52 fifth 
cannot remember 52 or 50 and now he's going for 45 minutes and another runner who is the previous runner's friend he also wanted to run a sub one hour marathon and he completed his last race in 56 minutes 20 seconds and I have a pair of clients, their sisters who train together, one lost 8kg and one lost 4kg in how many months? Three? Three months I think. And another client, uh, she had app surgery and once she got a green light to start exercising, she couldn't do like a crunch or a sit up. But now she is doing so many of it in our training. What can I say? Thank you. Thank you all for believing in me. <laughs> Thank you for believing in me and trusting our journey together. And I love you all. Yeah, so that's it for today. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe, click on the bell button. And I'll see you guys in my next video.